Hey guys, today I'm going to teach you how to mine Coinye coin using a pool. Um, if you want to get into this really seriously, um, you should probably get a high-end graphics card because it's going to chug through uh, the algorithms real fast and that's what you want. Um, Coinye coin uses a script algorithm, which is what Litecoin uses. So to um, find out what the best um, hardware you need is, um, we can go to the, uh, the Litecoin mining hardware comparison site. Uh, I've linked to it below. And uh, if you just go through the site, um, look at, compare different graphics cards, um, whatever you can get online for cheap um, or whatever's within your budget. And um, I've highlighted red here. Um, this is what you want to look at. This is the killer hashes per second. The higher number is better. Um, and so try and find something that's cheap within your range and has a high killer hash per second. So just check out this page. This is really good for finding that. Okay, now it's time to join a pool. Uh, this is the one that I like, pool.coinye.pw. Again, in the comments below, I uh, have a link to it, so you can just copy and paste that. Then in the pool, uh, just click the um, button for sign up to the left there. I've circled in red. You'll be brought to this page where you register a new account. Just type in your username, uh, whatever you want to choose there. Um, a password, repeat the password. Then your email and email repeat again. Then uh, for PIN, you need a four digit number um, that will just be like another password. So just try and uh, type something there that you can remember for the next time. Um, and terms and conditions, just click that red cross to accept terms and conditions and then click register. Okay, now that we're registered, we'll go and click on login. Enter in your email that you set before and your password, then click on login. Now we're logged into our account. Um, I'll explain more about that later. Uh, click on my workers to the left here. And we now have to set a worker. So in this worker name box, uh, type whatever you want, but I'll type something first. This is the name of our worker. I'll call them worker1 and give them a password. Now just make this simple, uh, just an X will do, and add new worker. Now we can see a worker has come up, uh, username, worker name, and some more details I'll explain later. Okay, now we're gonna go and set up our wallet address in our account, so click edit account. Uh, we've got our account details, our username, and so we just scroll down here a wee bit, past our email under that is payment address. Now, um, I would copy and paste uh, one of your wallet addresses from your wallet. Um, you should learn how to do this. Um, then come down here and um, set the automatic payment threshold to 1,000 because that's the minimum that um, you can set it to. Just um, um, here, you can get them out at any time anyway. But um, your four-digit PIN, this is where it's going to come in useful, so use it here, type it in, and click update account. Okay, step three, it's time for us to get the software. The software is called GUI Minor Script. Make sure you get the script version, and it's from the link below, so you can't go wrong if you just copy and paste that link. Okay, right click on the zip file, click extract, extract all, and then extract. This will take a few seconds for it to unzip file we just downloaded and create a folder with all of the GUI minor script stuff. Okay, now it has. Just run this GUI minor script.exe file. Double click it and you, this screen will be brought up. It'll look heaps different um, than this. Uh, heaps different, I mean, because I've filled in these details. But just copy what I've done here. The host, this is what you need to paste into the host. This is the pool. Then the port 3333. Now for the username, you want the username that you set up in the pool and then dot and then the worker name. So we called it worker1. The password is simply X. Now uh, the graphics card, this is my graphics card and here you can select a graphics card if you selected 
um, another graphics card this will fill in all the details you need if you don't have one of those just do what I did and select the lowest one there um, and all these details will be filled in for you uh, I'll change the intensity to 10 because my computer chugs a bit hard and then just click start um, now you need to wait down here you can see um, this is my killer hashes per second I've got a low one just because I'm using my laptop uh, and the graphics card in that to uh, um, hash and here we've got our accepted shares now this is uh, what you want to see rise so we'll wait a few seconds um, now nothing's happening so sometime later yes we have succeeded in getting a share so um, share has been accepted by the pool so if we go to the pool back to the pool uh, where you logged in before and we go and click on my workers you'll see that the worker we set up, yes, he is active, he's got a tick, and it even shows the killer hashes that he is producing. Um, now we can go uh, back to the dashboard, and our hash rate, yep, is now showing what we're hashing at, which is great. Um, hopefully your number will be a little bit higher than two. Mine is two because it's just a graphics card on a laptop, but at the moment that is still heaps to get Cornier, so good luck mining.